What's going on guys? We're getting back to a somewhat normal vinyl happy hour, a little bit of a record store day recovery and a little bit of a record store day wrap up happening, as well as talking about some excellent new releases and some indie store exclusives. I'm Skylar Davis, owner of Culture Shock Clothing and Records here in Rockford, Illinois, and also of cultureshockshop.com where you can find all of the releases we are talking about in this video in the link below. Also, if you like what we're doing, please like uh, the video and subscribe so you can keep up with our weekly Vinyl Happy Hour videos as well. Um, before I get into some of the new releases and some of the releases that kind of fell in the Record Store Day shadow because we didn't do our regular Vinyl Happy Hour last week, uh, I am going to get to those, but I am going to do just a couple of the Record Store Day picks and releases that uh, we got for ourselves and talk a little bit more about them. Uh, I was getting some new whiskey for the show here a couple days ago, and I, I was actually going to go with Jameson Black Barrel. It's pretty good, actually. But then I was like, oh, this few, I had tasted this at a whiskey one before. This is a Chicago, like a more of an independent one, kind of like a smaller brand. It's Chicago's locally distilled one. And it's only a few bucks more. And I was like, oh, I don't mind a few bucks at all to get a nice tasting whiskey. I love a little signed, you know, check off thing, what barrel it came out of. So, and it's a really good whiskey too. I do prefer my whiskey neat, so that's a good one. Jameson's good too, but I do like to mix that with some Coke. But what I want to get into first is one of my, I guess I'll just say this is probably one of my top picks of the Record Store Day releases that came out for Drop One. And this is a special box set from Lupe Fiasco. This is the Food and Liquor series. So the Food and Liquor regular album, which had actually gotten released and I kind of was pissed off that I didn't keep a copy for myself years ago. It sold out, double LP. It's been going for some pretty extreme money. So they finally reissued it. I think it was uh, like a, one of those Rhino Rocktober releases that came out a while back. Um, nice release on this, really cool splatter color, great album. But it's actually a box set and it's numbered, mine's a very low number, number 236 I noticed. Um, some of these are still available. So if you didn't get them in store, weren't here for Record Store Day, these are on our website. But what I really like about it is the Food and Liquor Volume 2, another really just a great hip hop album. This one is on double LP on like a silver vinyl. And uh, Food and Liquor 1 is on this splatter, kind of see-through green and purple splatter outer space looking. But I think that this is the first time this has ever been on vinyl for the volume two. And it's a very plain cover, all black front, completely plain, just the parental advisory. And some more info on the back though. But I think that gives it a lot more life, having it in this little box set sleeve to package it together as the Food and Liquor series. So I really like how that happened. Not that I wouldn't have gotten this and don't think this is a great release on its own, but definitely lacking a little bit in the artwork. So uh, I thought that was a really cool release. Great hip hop if you haven't heard Lupe Fiasco. Um, he's Chicago, right? Pretty sure. So kind of out of the Midwest here, really good Midwest hip hop artist. Definitely gives me some vibes of kind of like older Kanye and some other kind of Midwest rappers. Um, and it's kind of a posy feeling rap too, but not super posy, still has a good street feel. So really cool, but I'm so happy because I've really been looking hard for this album. Even though we used to have it at the store, it's one of those records I let it slip out of my hands and then I noticed it just never got reissued again and never became available. Super happy for that release. Uh, and they did a great job with the box, the packaging. They thought the pricing was great. It's a limited numbered box set. I'm just gonna slide that out of the way. Oh, we got a lot of records to talk about. Here's one that I feel that people might have slept on, including myself. This had never, ever been released on vinyl. This is The Truth. That's all it's called, The Truth from Prince. And the jacket has nice, cool gold lettering. This is the first time ever on vinyl, raw and acoustic stuff. This is a very stripped down Prince, very raw and acoustic singer-songwriter Prince album. It sounds so good, though. This is eerily intimate. Um, there is some instrumentation on a couple of the albums but it's recorded really hot, as in it's nice and loud. You can hear him plucking and playing on the guitar, singing completely natural, no effects. And like I said, almost all of it's just singer, songwriter, acoustic prints. And we still have these left. So these actually didn't sell out. Of course, a lot of releases did sell out. Got this nice little gatefold inner art sleeve that comes with it, with the lyrics to the songs too. Um, yeah, I actually, there were so many releases that came out at once. I didn't have too much of a chance to really look into this, but I'm glad I did. And I think not just Prince fans are going to like this one. I was actually, I don't know why, I kept feeling myself thinking about like some 
cowboy junkies or something like that. Parts of some of the way this music is done is so different than a lot of his other work. Uh, he's just such a great musician, great singer, great songwriter. And he started playing guitar. He was in some other groups in Minnesota before he went and did his solo thing. So really cool to hear that kind of intimate prince like that. Uh, the Fela Kudu is cool. I'm just going to show off just a couple things. I talked about that in my last video. This one, wow. I didn't want to draw too much attention to the L7, the beauty process. It had never been released on vinyl. And we only got one copy. A lot of records we did get 20, 30 or more copies of. Uh, this was a 90s release, so obviously a lot of 90s stuff was hard to get on vinyl. This is a very heavy female grungy album from L7, and one of their members had left before this was released. Um, I can't hear it or think about it without thinking a little bit of that era of even older Slater, Kenny, and Courtney Love and Hole and stuff like that. Somehow, just magically, because there was enough releases that came out, this didn't sell out, and we only had one copy, and I didn't want to be the jerk who kept that as my pick from the Record Store Day releases, but we still had one left at the end of the day, so it was meant to be, I guess. It was really meant to be. So I was really happy to pick up the L7, and then I got Lauren's pick here, too. This is the uh, Connor Oberst Ruminations, and it's double disc, so there is some unreleased material on that. And we've just been so busy with Record Store Day and other new releases coming in that we actually haven't had time to properly review and get to all of our Record Store Day releases. So I can't wait to check those out a little more. Um, now for vinyl, like I said, this section actually of the records I just talked about, some of those are still available, like the Fela Kuti, the Prince. Uh, we still, I know we still have 21 Pilots in Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Uh, and the fail or not fail Cootie, uh, Lupe Fiasco. So some of those are still available on our website. Just go to the Record Store Day Drop One section or come in store, of course, we're 11 to 6, Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, now I want to talk about a couple other albums, new releases, and reissues that dropped. Some of these were last week and some of them are coming out this week. Uh, but anyway, this is The Obsessed, The Church Within. Uh, I'm not obsessed with Obsessed, but I certainly like them a lot for sure. This is definitely one of those stoner metal bands and this is an indie store exclusive and what i really like to feature and talk about are indie store exclusives and i would have to give props to record store day which has probably been doing record store day releases now yearly for almost probably 12 or 13 years i didn't really hear about things that were indie store exclusives like this until record store day started doing special releases with different artists uh this is a reissue of a 90s stoner metal classic though uh, the Obsessed, it definitely has, you know, I was listening to some Ozzy and Black Sabbath feelings. It has some sleep and some Motorhead feels to it as well. Uh, these guys actually broke up and did get back together many years later to put out a couple more albums. Uh, but this is kind of that middle ground. This is between your classic rock era and your more modern metal era. That mid-90s stuff when things were going more pop and more grunge. This is a good heavy album. There's only 500 copies of this version. This just gets released this week. Uh, double LP on white vinyl. Uh, I just wanted to highlight that. You know, I love my, my Black Sabbath and stuff like that. So that's a cool release. I have a few other indie releases I just want to mention just shortly. Um, this is a really cool collection from Faith No More. This is Who Cares A Lot, The Greatest Hits. And this has hits from several of their albums, a double LP clear vinyl collection. Definitely something to check out if you're a Faith No More fan or a fan of Mike Patton as well. Um, Laura, I don't know, did we talk about this one? Sharon Van Etten, The Epic Ten. Do you know about this one? This is a really cool release too. So this is a reissue of an older Sharon Van Etten album. Nice gatefold, nice thick jacket. Um, this album is actually remastered. I think this was her very first album. So a lot of artists, you know, it's nice for them to have the chance to go back and redo their classic albums or remaster it to a sound that they like and want to hear. But what's really special about this is it's on blue vinyl, but there's a second disc on orange vinyl, and this is actually artist of her choice covering her songs. So you actually have uh, A Crime by Big Red Machine covering it. Peace Signs is done by Idols, which is cool. That's another one of my favorite recent bands, so it's cool that she picked them to do one of her songs. Lucinda Williams, which goes hand in hand, I think some of that kind of great, raspy, just um, Americana female vocalists and Shamir. Courtney Barnett is a great one. There's a cover by St. Panther and Love More by Fiona Apple. So it's a really cool, interesting collection of people to do a total reworking of this album for her. And it's all her picks. 
that she picked them to do that, picked the artists to do the songs. Uh, that is the first LP, which is just the reissue of the regular Epic 10 album. Uh, so that's a really cool release. That's like a limited color vinyl one. I don't think this is necessarily just an indie store exclusive, but it may be limited, so I would get it while it's available. Uh, another thing that we've been seeing recently, Fueled by Ramen is doing like their 25th anniversary um, reissues of some classic albums. What was it recently? Paramore and some other stuff, My Chemical Romance. But this is the very first Fall Out Boy album, Take This to Your Grave, and this is also on silver vinyl. So these are, you know, not numbered or anything, but since it's like an anniversary series, these won't be around for very long. So we do have those up also in the staff picks, actually, uh, CultureShockShop.com if you check the menu below. And then this is a one-two release. So both of these are dropping at once. This is a Fish live set, volume one and volume two. But volume one, interestingly enough, was recorded in 2019 at East Troy, Wisconsin at the Alpine Valley Music Theater which isn't too far north from us here in Rockford. I've been to many a shows, many Ozfest and Radioheads and Pearl Jams and things up there in Alpine Valley. And then the second one, also on each one's on a different color vinyl. Uh, this one was in 2011, Bethel, New York. So these are both available. You can buy them both or individually. They're separate albums. This could have been probably done as a gatefold, but they are separate and each one's a different color as well. Uh, this is another indie store release. I just mentioned Slater Kenny a little bit ago. Uh, this is their new album, Path of Wellness, and this is on opaque white vinyl, another white vinyl release, kind of like The Obsessed. Path of Wellness, I've only had a chance to check out a couple songs from this. Just a great, strong band. Cool to see them still making music. Part of the original Riot Girl and grunge scene of the, uh, you know, upper Northwest. Uh, this is Jack's Mannequin, People and Things, Music on Vinyl, did a release of this on Orange Vinyl, a reissue of this album. Originally in 2011, very rare to find on vinyl. And it's clear orange vinyl, and they also numbered them. So there's a little silver foil numbering on the back because they're only doing 2,500 copies of these individually numbered of Jack's Mannequin. Uh, this is, I think, the third album this year to get reissued from Jack's Mannequin. Uh, one of the others is still available. I can't remember which one, and one is already sold out. Um, so check those out. That's also right in the link, too, if you go to the staff picks at cultureshockshop.com. This seems really interesting, too. This is another old band, but they are still putting out music. This is originally known as Green Jello, but had to change their name many, many years ago. This is Green Jelly Garbage Band Kids. And what's really cool about this one, not only is it on green vinyl, these guys are a crazy, wacky kind of thrash metal band, but the jacket actually has, for each song, a little garbage pail trading card. So you can, I'm not sure who's going to do this, but... You can cut up the jacket. It's a dotted line, so you could cut these up and have your own little kind of green jelly garbage band kids. See, they're playing with the words again. They already had the green jello problem 30 years ago, so they couldn't do the garbage pail kids, but they changed it up just enough to make it legal. But what's really fun about this, too, is they're actually working with a bunch of different friends. You've got Weird Al Yankovic. You've got members of Suicidal Tendencies, people from Fishbone. Just all sorts of guest stars. There is a, uh, I swear I saw, there's a song with Hacksaw Jim Duggan, the wrestler. So there's a, a wide variety of people uh, helping them out on this album. So that'll be a fun one to check out. It's also on uh, green vinyl, appropriately enough for green jelly. And then this is a very interesting release and we got something kind of special to give away with it. So if you order this, just leave a note and we will carefully fold this poster up to stick with it. But this is the new release from Leslie Jordan, and this is Companies Coming. Uh, great actor, just a great, a great guy, and he's actually working with a bunch of different artists. He's from Tennessee originally, and these are some old Tennessee classics, some old songs. And he's working with some people like Eddie Vedder, Tanya Tucker, mm, Dolly Parton, and Chris and Morgan Stapleton. So there's a really cool poster that goes with the album, and ask for that when you come in the store or just leave uh, comments says, give me that poster and we will fold this up carefully and put it with your order if you do order it for shipping. Uh, but this is just a fun, interesting release, kind of like completely opposite, but like the, gar you know, the uh, Green Jelly record working with a bunch of different artists. Uh, but I hope you guys had a great record store day. Leave us a comment. I'd like to know, even if you were in a different state or wherever, what was your top pick from record store day? Drop one, which happened last week and coming up for July 17th. 
look ahead. Let I'd love to know what releases you're looking forward to on that. And we hope to hear more from you guys. We'll be doing another video, more of the regular vinyl happy hour next week and prepping already for drop to record store day. Thanks so much guys. Cheers.